Well, hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Um, Tuesday, August the 4th. And if you couldn't tell by looking at what I've got plans on doing, uh, we're looking at mowing hay. Might not be today. I think it's a little bit wet yet for mowing hay. As far as the ground is a little wet. Um, anyway... Before I go cutting this time, I want to lower, get this head down a little bit lower, um, which I think is going to be relatively easy to do, as in we just take this bolt out and raise these things up a hole. Um, we've got... I don't know, another set of options over here, but I don't know what we've got. So basically, what we're going to do right now is we're going to raise this thing back up and uh, move this and see just how close we can get it to the ground. Because, you know, that's cutting four inches probably high. So, uh, uh, last time I was happy with this when I cut the alfalfa field that's what we're gonna do again is cut the alfalfa field but I want to be able to cut it down to the ground and hopefully kill off the weeds this go around um, they're just they're getting pretty bad now like I said I don't know if we're gonna mow today or not uh, we got a few things starting to miss some teeth too we'll have to look at that look and see if I can get some teeth for this thing I guess but anyway, not a huge deal. Um, just gonna, like I said, we're gonna adjust this height-wise. <clears throat> Excuse me. And see what we can do here. Um, well, we might go work on uh, John Deere Blue a little bit and get it finished up. I got all the rest of the parts and pieces I need to take care of it and get it back to work. But uh, after the last few days of rain, just don't think we're going to be able to actually get the field today. But uh, we'll give it a little while and see. Because finally, the sun's coming out. And it was supposed to have been out all day. So maybe, uh, even though it is, what, five after four, we might get enough sun here in the next little while to get it uh, to get in the field and mow this down. I would really like to get in the field and mow this down. Let's raise her up. Good. I left it right here where it's supposed to be. Right there. So that's the transport lock, and then we'll just go ahead and set it down on that. And that should be enough to let me under there and do what I need to do. There you go. So, uh, anyway, 990 International. We're going to adjust the feet on the cutting head here and uh, see what that does for us. It should let it right down on the ground, hopefully. Okay, so we've found our first issue with this process, which isn't a big issue, but I need a bolt. That's not going to work. Let's see. These are... Yeah, those are metric. I'd rather not use metric. Nothing against metric bolts. I just don't like using them if I don't have to. Uh, 
pickings may be slim for half inch bolts. The right length anyway. Well, let me look around see what I can come up with. Okay, so we weren't quite so slim on bolts after all. Which is good. I need bolts. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see here. It's all good. It's still in the hole. I love that stuff. That doesn't happen very often, does it? And... Well, come on. That'll be better. Maybe. Not holding my mouth right. Finally, it went in there. Finally. Fire. Okay, one down, one to go. <sighs> okay, so got them both up as high as they'll go basically um, now let's see how far she'll lay down May not really look it but that is way farther than what it was before so that thing is pretty much laying flat on the ground now which will be good uh, it can't hurt anything anyway so uh, yeah now I'm gonna grease it and we will go from there I'll grease it put the yeah do a couple more things and uh, go check the field see if it's going to be ready or not and if it's going to be ready we'll mow hay if not we'll go work on the sprayer either way i got stuff to do all right so mowers greased tractors fueled uh fields too wet yet so we are going to call it good on the whole hay mowing idea until tomorrow afternoon uh, it should be ready to go by then so uh, I'm gonna go put the last few pieces on the John Deere blue see what time it is maybe we'll go for a test run on that with just water and see what happens but anyway I love how easy this thing starts. <laughs> it may be a miserable third of a little tractor, but it starts right up, so hey. Well, it's got the business end in and out of the weather, so that'll be good.
All right, off to the John Deere Blue. Okay, so we're at the John Deere Blue. We replaced the bottom end of the recirc line right here, so it's not pinched off anymore. And then we finished the rig up top here. One of you mentioned I needed strainers. Strainers. Uh, I got some water running in here right now. Just so we can see what we get. We're going to try and set the pressure on it. Sitting in here in the barn, which will be good. So pump line coming into the manifold. I got a new gauge. Somebody was saying I needed a new gauge. Got a new gauge. This is a liquid filled gauge. So we'll be able to, it should be suitable, accurate for all of you people out there right now. Um, we've got our pressure relief valve here. So we should be able to set the pressure down according to whatever I need to set it at. I tied the line from it into the recirc line and then we've got the uh this is an open center valve so when it's in the off position it sends your chemical mix back through here and recirks the tank and keeps it churned up so uh yeah that's pretty much it for right now until we get some water in it all right so Get up on the old thing here. Can tank this old thing here. Let's see, that's on. That should do.